Hey everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon. As always, I hope you're doing wonderful. So I was thinking today, because I have a lot of friends in the music industry and got me thinking about contracts. There are good contracts, and then there are questionable contracts, and then there are those, oh, hell no contracts. I think something to consider nowadays is possibly, although I'm not giving legal advice, I'm not an attorney, I'm not none of that. I am just giving you some education on stuff I'm familiar with and have read. Yeah. So force majeure clause, who's familiar with that? Like a, a failure to perform clause um, or in the event of death clause. So what's a force majeure? The force majeure clause is if you're unable to perform due to a natural event, an act of God, that could be an earthquake, a fire, a storm, a blackout, a war. It could be all kinds of different things. It would be something outside of the control of, you know, world events, let's just say. So with the force majeure, that is a clause that's in there so that in the event of a natural disaster or something happens, especially with this CV, that you as the entertainer are not held accountable for not performing. So with the, for, for, <laughs> with the force majeure, that protects both of you so that if something happens, you're not held liable, you don't perform, you don't get in trouble. Another thing with those contracts, be careful. Death clause. Look at the death clause in your contract. In the event something happens to you, what happens to your proceeds? More times than not, the way it's set up is that uh, the company you work for gets the proceeds after you pass away. It doesn't usually go to your family members or anything else. It's just that the companies continue to make money off of you. More times than not, oftentimes, not more times, but I'll say oftentimes, People are worth more dead than alive because that catalog, they get to keep it and make all that money. So think about it. If you have a death clause in there and the money's going to the businesses and they are still sucking you dry after you're dead, they could do that for up to 70 years after you pass away. That's a long time. So they could still make money off of you. So that's something to definitely consider and be aware of. Watch your con tracks so you don't get conned and caught in someone else's tracks or claws. Think about this. Say you're in a group, you're in a band with a couple different people or a bunch of different people. Say you pass away or one of the other members pass away. That contract that they're making money off of you on, if you pass away and you have that in the clause, that contract is good until the very last person in the group dies. So say you die now, 10, la 10 years later, the next member does, another five years after that, whatever. It is, the time starts from the mark that the last person in the group passed away. So after that last person passed away, in the group that starts the 70 year mark of how long they can continue to make money off of you not your family not the people that you're probably trying to help and yourself well if you're dead you, you know but um that's why it's not, i love independence being an independent artist do your own work don't get stuck in a lot of these contracts not all contracts are bad, but you got to pay attention. People often are so excited to get into some type of industry that they don't read over the paperwork. They're just like, okay, I'll do anything, whatever it takes. <sighs> read your contracts, people. Don't sign what you don't know. All right. There we go. We have it. Ta-da! <laughs> it's one of my favorite people. Nice. How are you? How are you? I know I'm kind of random with my timing, oh. but I had some free time, so what? I figured why not now give it a you know give it a shot. Right. How are you? How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? 
I'm, I'm good. I'm good at the moment. Nice, nice. I'm doing good. Yeah. I was making a video. Okay. And I was thinking of you. Which isn't surprising, because you're the shit. <laughs> you are the shit. That's like when people say, who are you going to talk to? I say, my bae. And I'm like, and I don't mean before anyone else. It's a title. It is a title. It is not a, an acronym. <laughs> you know? So I am trying to get information a bit on force majeure clauses. Are you familiar with those? With the clause? You know, the failure, right, with a failure to perform clause or a force majeure, which is in the event of a natural disaster, like if there's anything, um, a, a God event, that the performer isn't penalized because it's in the clause. And I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to get a spanking, but, you know, there's a certain CV situation going around right now that people in the entertainment industry Need, should probably start thinking about adding this clause if they don't have it. Even though I hear it's kind of hard to get the uh, producers or whatnot to always agree to it, but since it is time of the CV and they consider it a natural event, I believe it does fall under a force majeure. Is this not correct? Well, so contracts are very, very tricky, right? Um, if it's not in the original premise when you're, you know, constructing the contract, when you're going over the points or when you're negotiating or anything like that, um, it's not, it's not enforced if it's not in the contract, right? I, that's what I'm hearing, right? Mm -hmm. Like it has to have been previously in the contract for it to count. You can't like add it now no, to the not clause. No, necessarily. You can always amend to a contract as long as both parties are agreeing. So contracts. So we're talking about the entertainment industry here. So. Um, right. Well, I mean, still, you know, depending on what type of level of artist you are. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because if Madonna don't want to perform in the middle of a pandemic, she's not. If Beyonce does not want to perform, she's not going to perform. If Jay Z doesn't want to perform, or Justin Bieber, or you know those those people that really have a huge following, right? Um, now for like local, not local, local or uh, let's say C list down, because some of you, some of your B list. If there is, you know, a certain level like that, um, they could possibly get it amended and do things. But most of your regular common everyday people, no, you're, you're not. Now, what you can do is you can't argue it on the grounds of you're putting yourself into a debilitating situation. And they can take parameters above that, um, which would still have to go into a necessary agreement, but health cases, yeah, you, you, you can't do that. You can't do that. Um, okay. Because see, the, the thing about it is, so we have these things called executive orders, right? And executive orders are things that can be done and written into effect right then. Or you can you can repeal them. It'll take an, a, a certain person of you know executive branch to repeal those um, because the Constitution didn't know that hey you know we're gonna have smallpox break out in 1945 and then we're gonna have uh, CV19 in 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 2020. It, it doesn't say right. that, but it does say what you can do as far as medical. That's why the Hippocratic Oath does first do no harm. They have to remember that. That's part of their oath. That is part of their pledge. Right. It's part of everything. So there's parameters into it. Then there's uh, annotated stats. So you see like the U.S. code or something like that. Um, that's been annotated. It's kind of been updated. You know, they, they, it's not just I have the right to bear arms. It's okay, well, I have the right to form a militia and you can do it under these pretenses. And, and then, and then every state, state adopts that is part of their constitution if they're going to do it or not. But, but medical, medical emergencies are just, just like natural disasters. disasters. You know. You know. So, so that's... Uh, 
Because it's not so that, I guess so it depends. depends I guess, I guess a it's a little different, different depending, depending on what faction, what faction and level. level. So, I guess, so, I guess, so, I guess so I guess that depends. depends. Yeah. What, what, what are your what thoughts, thoughts on, on uh, death, death clauses? clauses. Now, now tell, tell me, me if I'm correct. correct. I believe I, believe I, I am. am. Well, well, don't, don't tell me I am correct if I'm wrong. Now, now, with death, death clauses, clauses in contracts, contracts more, more times than not, than not especially in the music side, side the, contract the contract is set up to where the, 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 the person, person they, the, the company, company has rights, rights over, over all, all, everything, everything from up to 70 years, 70 years, 70 years from the passing of the artist. artist. And then, and then if, if you're, you're in a group, group it, it, it counts, counts for, for it, uh, it starts when, when that, last that last person in the group, in the group passes, passes away, away starts that 70-year 70 70 mark. mark. So, so how, how do, you, do, what do what do people do, do on, um, to, protect to protect themselves? themselves? How do, I don't know. What I'm, what I'm trying, trying to say, Slim, is how do we start educating some of these newer artists that are coming up that independent is great instead of getting into a lot of these contracts which are really cons and we're trying, we're to, stop trying to stop them in them. Try. Well, yeah. so we got to look at the we got to look at the industry right? first, right? So, so we can't, we can't say, say that, that the contracts, contracts are bad and they're they're this and and we, and we have to do other things, right? right? Contracts, contracts are what any, what any business, business would do. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to have a mutual agreement. agreement. You're trying, you're trying to, to get a sack of oranges for a dollar, but you're trying to sell them for a dollar a piece. Music, Music industry is the same exact, exact way. They're, they're, not they're not trying to tell you about publishing. They're not trying to tell you about copyright. You know, it's the same exact way. Same exact thing. Like, I would advise most people that are even trying to get into the music industry is to understand first, to keep your emotions out of it. And the best, and the best way, to way to keep your emotions, your emotions out, of it out of it is don't deal, don't with, deal with anything, anything that you're negotiating your music. <clears throat> and there's a reason why. You're emotionally, you're emotionally attached, attached to it. The promoter, the promoter is not emotionally attached, attached to your music. To your music. So he can, so he can take the rejection. The rejection. Artists, Artists we're, we're, more, we're more emotional when we get when on, we get that, on side. that side. So, so you, you, you can't, can't take, take the same rejection. So learn that it's a business first and keep your emotions out of it. So... Get a, promoter, get a promoter, get a manager, get, a manager, get, get, you, know, you, know, get you know, get professional service type people. people. But, but one thing, one thing you always, always want to do is have some friend that understands, understands and knows law. Because, because that's you. That's you. That's you. <laughs> well, you know, that's I, mean, I had to study, study it all, study it all because, because, because I was tired of, 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 just, of just the placebos that were given. You know, you know, like. I understand, I understand going, going into, into it. it. You know, I'm you know, back, I'm back in, the in the days with CDs and stuff. And stuff. So when we, when we, when we made, made our, our first business plan, plan so this is how me and my brother attacked the, attack the industry. We were, we were going to record an album. album. We, picked we picked out 16, 16 instrumentals out of, out of like 40, 40 or 50. Right? Right? And we and had we a we had a session of what we were going to talk about, what we were going to do, right? Now. Now. Before, Before any, any record, record button, button, me and me my and brother, brother sat, sat down and wrote, and wrote out, out a business plan of more right, right, yeah. two, two production, production companies together. together. So, so we weren't, weren't just brothers, brothers coming, coming together, together to make an album. album. We were two, we're two production companies coming together, coming together to, to form this group. And we, and we wrote a business plan. plan. Well, he mostly wrote it. I was learning. This is at my time when I was really learning about this. Now, we knew that new, new artists, artists you're not you're going to really get that much, get that much or anything, or anything like, like that right, right? So, so we thought, thought of hey hey if, if we sell a hundred thousand cds we're good, we're good. because because we're, we're selling not to talk of our car we're selling, we're selling them hand to hand ten dollars a piece back when you buy cds so we looked at it like we named, we named our, our price, price in the beginning. Our price was 100,000 100, units or a million dollars, right? right? And, and the reason, the reason why, why we wanted to do this is because, is because we knew that if we got into the industry, industry we weren't, we weren't going to own our, own our stuff. Because it's, it's about ownership. ownership. That's what That's I would tell people if I wanted to talk to them about the legals and stuff like that. Because it's about ownership. 
You gotta you know, gotta about, know publishing. about publishing. It's not, it's not just copywriting, copywriting your, lyrics. your lyrics. It's not, it's about, not about just trademarking, trademarking your name. It's about, it's about ownership. ownership. You know, you know most, most of us have to create a publishing company in order to get royalties. That's some of the things that they don't talk to you about. They don't, they don't tell, tell you that, that you're getting, you're getting a, point, a point, and a point is a certain penny amount. amount. But they never, but they give, never you give you the breakdown anything, anything like that. Like that. These, advances These advances that they're, they're giving you. That advance, that advance is going to be recouped, recoup, but you got to look, look at what else is recouped, and what is the recoup rate. rate. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Tap the industry because of ownership. Of ownership. And, that's and that's what, what a lot of oh, yeah, people you're, you're smart, smart about, about it. it. Right. right. So, so, I mean, because we were right. I mean, I read books. I read Miss Wendy, Wendy Day, who I love, I love her to death. death. Um, I read, I read so, many so many different books because my brother is in, you know, you know he's just ahead, ahead of things like that. But we would but always, we would do, always about do about ownership. So one of the things, of the things that's in ownership, ownership getting, back, getting to back to your original point, was the death clause. Right. Right. So, right. Kind so of controversial work, work seventy, 70 years, years or so many odd years, years up to a up thousand, to a thousand years, years. Right. Like after you can you can get it worked out in so many different ways. Like the Wu Tang album, album that couldn't be for a hundred years. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Right. Because there's certain things that you can put on it now. And death has rights to it. That's what they call you. You know, the last will and will and testament. The last. I have a question. I don't know if I should ask it. Just to interrupt right here. What if you're sovereign? What if you're sovereign? What if you? What if you are you? Who had your sovereignty? Do those same Contractual, contractual agreements, agreements mean, mean the same, same thing. thing. Well, see, well, see, see if you're sovereign, sovereign you, you, it, yeah, does, it does, but, but see, still, still, if, if you're sovereign, sovereign and you're part, and you're of, part a nation, of a nation, you're, 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 you're a national, national you're, part, you're of part of something, then yeah, the, then, yeah, the constitution, everything works for you. You can you can you can have different things. It's when you call yourself these crayon colors. And you have and you no have backing, no backing of, a of a nation or anything like that. So when you call yourself black, when you call yourself, when you call yourself negro, color, 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 things like, things like that, that, there is no there nationality, is there is nothing, of, nothing of that. Even, even that when, that we, call when we call other people, other people white, white, we know we that, know that they, have they have a nationality behind it. They'll, they'll break down after it because they know that we're not going to live in psychosis calling each other crayon colors. They'll be like, well, I'm part German or I'm Italian or I'm Portuguese or, you know, whatever. Because, because, because all those things you named, and then and then that's, um, funny. that's funny. Right, they can right. they can, they can do that. But see, when you're, you're doing like, like contractual, you're, you're doing legal, legal work, sovereignty, sovereignty nationality, nationality, all that stuff backs, backs into play because, because it's an agreement. it's an agreement, and the constitution, and the constitution actually, works actually works for you. you. you see, you see, the, the law actually works for you because by going by going right, you're black. You're saying you're saying that they did in law. So that's so why, that's they, why come they come in and, and they own everything. everything. They own, they own and do all that because you have, you have a more status. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, they, you know, they excuse, my, excuse language, my language, but they created they the best thing. thing. They, created they created niggas. And let me tell and you why, I, you why say I say that. Because, because niggas, already, niggas know already know everything. You can't tell you them enough. They already know everything. I'm not saying it's specific to a skin color, tone, or how much melanin you got either. Because niggas, niggas come clear. Period. Come period. So, so they have, they have no nationality. They have no, nationality, they have no, nothing. They have no nothing. They don't want to learn, learn, learn anything. So, so when you, when get, you into get into the music industry, you want ownership. Because you, because you want to have something that you can pass down to your last will, testament, whatever. testament whatever. If you have, if you a, have a company, a corporation, corporation, that can continue, that can continue to, go to go perpetual, and you want your, you want your own, own company owning, company, owning your, your own stuff, right? Right? Yes. See, we can't. We can't do that if you call yourself black. Where's your nationality? Where's your nationality? Can you be sovereign and black? No, because no, because black negates you. You're saying what? How are you sovereign? Dead in the dead eyes, in of eyes of law. Right. Right. Yeah. You're, a sovereign, you're, a sovereign, you're a sovereign. You're a sovereign, corpse? sovereign corpse? Are you going to represent, you represent yourself? Right. Right. You, right. You, you, right. Don't you don't even have, like, UCC 1308. You're, you know. You know. They don't know, they don't know about the corpse, which, which is now called, is now called the right. UCC. Right. They're not going to look at They're going to look at you like, oh, well, I don't need to do all that stuff right now. I'm starting. No, that's how you do it. I mean, you got to get a publishing company. In order to, in order to, to do your work first. Yep. Yep. And know this, and know this stuff, stuff in advance before you go in, in so that you can, you can get the best get the deal. Best deal. Yeah. 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 Nobody's yeah. in the yeah. music yeah. business to be 50 50. 
Man, uh, man, they will they take will your take ideas, ideas and run. And run. That's, that's, you know what? You know what? Let, let, like, I like, see, I see that a lot, lot where a lot of new people will be coming up to the artist, and, and these new people are so excited if they get an opportunity to, to simply, simply feature, feature or appear on this other person's stuff. stuff. But they don't but really, they don't think, really about think about it, it if, if they're only, if they're doing, only it doing it for, for they're, not they're not getting paid most of them. Most of them. They, they think that, that, you know, it's just their, their intro and they're paying their, their dues. And it's like, and no, it's like, no you guys are the fresh stuff. stuff. These, These entertainers, entertainers are already established in their, in their niche. They've already created their brand. You need to, you're the new hot item. Market yourself. Don't just give your stuff away for free. You know, set some, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These, people these people need to be smart, need to be smart in, in their dealings. Dealing. And I, study I study this stuff, this stuff, stuff for fun. I'm stupid, I'm stupid okay? okay? I study, I study it, for it for fun. Why do I Why study, do I this, study this, for fun? this for fun? But, I, I, but I, I'm, I'm just that type of a person. I'm very... All my people that's part of the Uma, right? Or any Malika or any Ak that's out there, whatever they represent, whether it's Orthodox, 5%, NOI, whatever, right? They're part mm -hmm. of the Uma. We know that that's a sign of wisdom. It's a tarboosh. Mm -hmm. We know right. that. Or what they call the right. things, right? We know that. And you can only relate with other people that... You remember back in the day, we used to say, my A-likes. My A-likes are my A-likes because we be alike and we see alike. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You still get into that same realm and no matter what energy patterns that you want to go throughout the whole day if you want to go to anger if you want to go to happiness you're still going to draw so many around the people and i just feel like back when we were doing it when we were first starting out because we moved into a whole different area that we weren't even from right so like i had just gone up to this area for two years in middle school and then my brother he came back and graduated high school and did all that, but I didn't come here like that. And we came back here that, that summer, that summer 99, we came here to record our album. Now, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say I wanted to be here in Stanton. Greg didn't want to be here in Stanton, but shout out to Stanton and Waynesboro because I, I met so many cats here that were so eclectically different. They were about ownership. They were about ownership. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just, I mean, we had wide varieties of, I mean, all types of styles. Whether you were in Stanton and you had, you had Carrick and them going in, you had Hard Life, you had my boy um, uh, Jeff Toy. You had a whole bunch of people that was just doing their own music. And then in Waynesboro, you had the same exact thing. You had B, Dab, uh, my brother Dennis. Corbin and all of them, and they call themselves Soulful Reciters. Then the All I See, they pop up. Then All Minds Bonded. You know, you had all these different groups. You even had uh, mm -hmm. my guy Ace. I remember Ace used to be running around. Um, I remember when uh, Dave Mays, he was doing his thing. You know, all these guys were just doing their own thing. But the great thing about them was, and I think that's the only reason that we all didn't go over the top or somebody get signed and become major, it's because we were about ownership. Right. And that's the funny thing, because it's not that we don't know the people, because a lot of times people make the mistake. Even too eager of a person will make the mistake of jumping the gun yes. just because, you know, famous people. You're like, let me get in. And that's like people who ask me, you know, like the Wu-Tang, you know, all these different people. Why aren't you? Why haven't you been put on? And I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. I don't want them to. I'm trying to learn my lessons, my life lessons, you know, my degree in life, just regular but I could do it myself. You know, teach me how to fish. Okay, make sure I understand the steps. And then once I'm there, it's like, okay, I've shown you. Now it's your job to take that knowledge and apply it yourself so that you can be self-sufficient. But you're, you're you know, the, the you only way I've just got to get, in, get into the industry and learn stuff was watching other people's mistakes. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to sit back and watch a lot of mistakes. And then be like, okay, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. But the one thing that really made me different, I can't speak on anybody else, but the one thing that made me different was, is I always read. And I looked at the music business as a business. Because it didn't matter 
if everybody tells you, oh, man, I like your stuff. I like this. I like that. You go to the open mics, which is free. Nobody's getting paid for open mics except for the, the host. You know, everybody, oh, man, I like your stuff. I like your stuff. So I'm like, all right, that's cool and all. But the real test of it is, is they going to come see you at a show? Are they going to buy at the, Are they gonna buy your CD? Because mm-hmm. anybody can give you the gas. They, yeah, are they going to help gas. build your, yeah. But are they going to actually come see you and support you? Because that's when you know somebody really likes you. You know what I'm saying? Is they yeah. going to come out and see you. So thank God that I was, I was in with that because I've been a chef all my life. You can tell me all day I can cook good or whatever like that. Are you going to buy that plate? Because I live in a plate by plate business, so I learned how. Because I live in a plate by plate business, so I learned how to not be so emotional when it came to business. And I wanted my stuff. Oh right. shit! I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> but I, I wanted my stuff right. I wanted the copyright, and I wanted the ownership. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Intellectual property. Well, that came up. Intellectual up later. property. I was on that. I was on that. Two thousand four. Two thousand five. I was on intellectual property. I knew what it was. I knew what it meant. So yeah. when it got down to 2013, when I met the constitutional attorney, it changed my life. When she told me that I was a natural, and I was like, what are you talking about? So she, what she taught me and what she continued to teach is things that I just learned. I'm like, wow, man, I had this person you know, come in and do that because I was already drawing that. I didn't go to, oh man, if I get a if I get a little interview at Rolling Stone, I can just throw out my MySpace because you know MySpace was big at that time. You, right, right. It's not mm-hmm. gonna happen like that, man. All the guys that's really, really blown up, they have done the work for a very, very long time. They've done the research, but they have a right. team of people. Um. And you want a team of people. You want somebody to deal with finances. Because me, even studying law, if I'm dealing with the 5013C, I know that there's no lawyer that goes to represent me with the IRS. It's a CFP or an accountant. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. C. So you got to know that stuff. Yes, absolutely. To to really give you that information. Because if not, you're going to be, you're going to be very screwed. And you're going to think like, oh, well, I didn't join the Illuminati, so I'm sitting here broke. I can't make it. <laughs> yeah, like, no, you didn't want to put in the work. And they 